My name is Benedict Ousu. This is Sports and we'll do Sports. Uh, this afternoon, we'll, we'll focus on a uh, young Ghanaian athlete, Mata Bisa, who has been trending in the past, uh, you know, few days. Now, Mata Bisa actually earned most outstanding track athlete honors at the MEAC Indoor Track and Field Championships on Saturday, winning two more gold medals to go with two from earlier in the week as the Spartan women uh, placed fourth at the meet last week Saturday. So what it means is that Matabisa is really making Ghana proud in the United States of America. My colleague Asari Bidi Akuma has more in the following report. Matabisa made her conference championship debut a successful one as she won the 800 meters and ran the ankle leg on the gold medal winning distance midlay relay team during the second day action at the MEAC Indoor Track and Field Championship at the Prince George's Sports and Learning Complex. The Spartan women sit in fifth place with one day to go at the conference championship. Insu has 26 points while Florida A&M leads with 55. Bisa, the favorite in the 800, clocked a time of 2 minutes 11 11.04 seconds to pull away for the win. A few hours later, she ran the 800 leg on Insu's winning distance midlay relay team. Bisa and teammates Candice Higgins, Michaela John, and Chasmin Fullwood easily won the race by some 13 seconds ahead of FAMU. Insu also picked up points from junior Bryna Hayes, who placed fourth in the high jump. So that was my colleague Asaibidi Akum with a report on Mata Bisa and her career has been on the rise uh, since uh, winning gold at the 2014 uh, Youth uh, Olympic Games. Uh, she won gold in 800 meters and since then she's been doing very well uh, for herself as well as Ghana. She was in Ghana and recently traveled to the United States of America where uh, today we are talking about her winning gold medals and also earning accolades there. To help us do a discussion on Mata Bisa and how uh, her, how she's doing as well as uh, whatever she's doing, how it's going to favor Ghana. It's a former Ghana Athletics Chairman, uh, Mr. George Lutrot. Uh, he's joining us on the phone lines. Say, thanks so much for joining us here on Pulse this afternoon. First of all, uh, you must be very delighted with the rate at which Mata, her transition and progression is going. Yes, I'm absolutely delighted with her performance. It's very good. It's more than we expected at this stage. He just started uh, running at not forget uh, in January. So within two months, uh, uh, these are the awards she's been getting, and she's doing very, very well. We're, we're very, very pleased. The university is very pleased, and um, she's mm -hmm. uh, outlasted all our expectations. Mm, before you even talk about Matabisa so what does this mean to Ghana athletes? Obviously, you've been at the Ghana Athletes Association before, and for a, a, a young lady uh, of her, uh, as Matabisa to go ahead and win a gold medal as well as uh, get this accolade in the United States of America, this must be very big for Ghana athletes. Oh, yes, indeed, it is. It, it, it's, a very, it, it's a huge story for Ghana athletes. And uh, we, need, we need role models in Ghana athletes. And she has to, to be a wonderful role model for all those who are coming up. And, and, and I think it's, it's very good news. It's a good news story for Ghana. You've been very key uh, to her progress uh, in this very sport. Now, uh, you also helped in her uh, traveling to the United States of America to study there. I'm sure you are in constant uh, contact with her. How is she taking all this? Actually, I, was, I spoke to her just an hour ago. We were on the, on the video, video link. Mm. And I said, I'm, I'll be enjoy, enjoy reading, and, uh, enjoy, enjoy uh, news mm -hmm. on TV. And she said hi to everybody. Okay. And uh, she, she's very, very happy with her progress, both uh, academically and um, on, the, on, on, on the sports field in training. Mm. And she, she's very, very delighted with how she progressed. I spoke to her coach. And the coach is also very, very happy, and she thinks she will be a better potential with any game, you know, later. M Mata is a huge asset for Ghana when it comes to athletics. How are we able to, you know, get the best out of her? Um, she did have some challenges while she was here. Which I was going to be very serious challenge. Mm. And now she's in America. I think she has that uh, peace of mind to now aim for the sky and, and for a potential to be absolutely uh, recognized within herself. And I think she's proving to everybody. I said hello. The, the only response you can give to people is to be successful on the track. That's exactly what she's doing. 
He's being very, very successful. They're uh, extremely proud of it. Very, very proud. Before she left, she had some few issues with the Ghana Athletics Association. Uh, have you also been in touch with the Ghana Athletics Association as to whether they will still offer their support uh, to the young lady? Because what she's doing, as you've already noted, is not for herself uh, entirely, but it's for Ghana as well. Yes, and I, 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 I believe that I think the CAA must come out and, you know, really congratulate and give her some boost. This is not for the boost world or for anybody, it's for Ghana. And they really got to come out and show more political support. But let me remind your viewers that Papa is still under indefinite attention from the EA. Such attention, as far as I know, has not been given. Mm. But, but, but what would be what better. would be your advice? What would be your advice to the Ghana Athletics Association? Because you know the young lady is doing very well, and for yes. them to place uh, that ban on her, uh, I, I think that is not you know right order. What would be your advice to the GA? I mean, I mean, the first thing, uh, I'm not the rich, uh, San Jose mm -hmm. myself. Yeah. It's our detective. We are all former presidents of the Ghana Athletic Association. We all disagree vehemently with this action, which was taken by the Ghana Athletic Association. The first step which they can do now mm -hmm. is to immediately lift that interpretation of the state. Otherwise, there will be consequences mm. for Ghana and Ghana Athletic. Mm. But I, I, the bank has the best she has. Okay. Because she is proving herself. And uh, I think it's high time that. Look, an athlete who has won the gold medal, the gold, this is the Olympic gold medal she won for Ghana. The only gold medal Ghana has ever won in, an Olympi in any Olympic category. Yeah. I think she has a bragging right. She has a bragging right. So I think we, we, we also must uh, be able to sort things out. And give her a little leeway and give her the support. Mm. Okay. And, uh, so that uh, she can be a role model for others coming up. Okay. All right. Mr. Lutrot, uh, thanks so much for joining us here on Post today. We really appreciate you. So that was uh, Mr. George Lutrot, a former Ghana Athletics Association chairman, speaking to us on Martha Bisse's uh, you know, exploits in the United States of America. Over the weekend, she won gold in two, uh, two uh, events uh, and uh, also emerged as the most outstanding track and uh, field athletes at the MEAC Indoor and Track and Field Championship. So she's really making Ghana proud and herself proud in the United States of America. Remember, later tonight, you've got two matches in the UEFA Champions League. Big games uh, coming up uh, last week. Remember, exactly Tuesday like this, uh, Barcelona went away to Paris Saint-Germain with the hope of getting a good result uh, going into the second leg. Babasa lost that game by four goes to nil. Borussia Dortmund also lost by a goal to nil away to Benfica, as well as Real Madrid beating Napoli by three goals to one. And Arsenal went away to the Allianz Arena. They were thumped by five goals to one. Well, tonight, we've got two matches coming your way. First is the Bayer Leverkusen Atletico Madrid game. Atletico Madrid were uh, losing finalists last year. They've got Ghanaian international there, Thomas Partey. Hopefully, he'll play a part in that game tonight, as well as Manchester City up against Monaco. That's how we end sports here on Pulse. My name is Benedict Owusu. There's more sports news on the Manjo Online Sports page. And keep following us on Twitter at Joy Sports GH on Facebook. It's at Joy Sports. Have a wonderful evening.